Colin McLaren. I'm a wetland ecologist at Portland General Electric. And we're standing out here at the Harberton Habitat Restoration Site. These particular wetlands are very important to red-legged frogs, which are a species of concern at the state. This project is important and unique because of its proximity to the Willamette River. It's uh, located right at the right where Multnomah Channel diverges off of the Willamette River, so it's an important uh, migration route for out-migrating juvenile salmonids and also um, upstream migrating adult salmon. Our intent is where I'm standing right now to take this berm down probably about 15, 20 feet to match the elevation behind me and then create a channel that will go all the way out to the Willamette River. Uh, that channel will serve as backwater for salmonids, hopefully, as well as providing more floodplain habitat for frogs down in this particular area. patch of reed canary grass, which is this right here. It's an invasive species that takes over wet areas. Reed canary grass is bad because it forms monocultures, meaning it it's crowds out all the native uh, species, other plant species, and it doesn't provide a lot of habitat. It doesn't provide food source or cover or much of anything maybe other than erosion control. This is one of the species that we intend to control when we go to restore habitat out in this area. Currently at this site, we have seen deer and coyote, and I mentioned red-legged frog. In addition to that, there's long-toed salamander. We've seen Pacific forest frogs by the thousands, northwestern salamander, and a variety of, of songbirds and waterfowl that like to use the wetland and the habitat around it. Some of the habitat components that we're going to be creating out here are uh, rock tile dens to hopefully attract mink. We expect uh, there, are, there are beaver in the area, so we expect they'll be moving in, which is great. And songbirds, you know, we'll have snags up and we'll be keeping as much woody vegetation as we can in the area so that we keep them uh, encourage songbirds and others to come this way. So this restoration work is taking place in the summer and fall of this year, 2020. We are really excited to get this project off the ground. It's been several years in the planning stages and it's going to be just really terrific to finally see uh, you know, soil move and plants put in the ground. And then uh, we'll have an opportunity over the next 10 years to just watch it flourish and develop and uh, keep an eye on it that way. So it's going to be a great project.